For this video tutorial, we will quickly take a look at the creating baselines and how to baseline tasks, along with status colors and a few more functionalities. So what are the baselines? These are simply means of taking a snapshot in time of task properties. In order to create one, select tasks, all tasks or a bunch of them. I'll select all tasks with a Ctrl A, make a right click over them and select baseline selected tasks. Synchro would notify you that critical path is currently not updated, so we would like to refresh it before baselining these tasks. Click yes. And give it a name or leave name as default. I'll leave it as default. And OK. The activity colors on the GAN chart become red. It's because compute critical path is on. So if we click it on and off, I believe you remember what critical path is and how the tasks on the critical path affect the project execution time. Now in order to display our baselines, I go to Display tab, open the drop-down and select Show Baselines. Also, let's open the baselines and scenarios. Let's turn off Compute Critical Path and zoom in. So now it looks simple. So the green bar is our reference bar and the blue bar is our baseline schedule. So you can change the color of these bars. You can click over the drop down and assign any color you like. And the color can be set up individually for each baseline. The coloring scheme of reference Gantt is dependent on what colors you'd like to see. So for now we're using status colors. Check the drop down and see that we can apply activity code colors. We don't have any colors yet. Or company colors. In order to review or set up new status colors, open the navigator and task statuses. You can see that three statuses were predefined, but you are free to create unlimited amount of custom statuses to adjust Gantt view to your company standards. Make a right click in the empty area and add a new status. Give it a new name, for example, plant 01, choose the status type and new color. For example, I'll choose red. Select one or multiple activities and assign a new status to them by dragging it from the task status window and release it over highlighted tasks. You can notice that the color of the bars on the GAN chart changed. We can go to the customized columns and call in for status. Double click and let's bring it up to the duration. Although if you change task status from planned to started or finished, Synchro will ask you to choose actual start date. For example, let's try to assign started to this task. And you see in the IP dialog, Synchro asks us to choose a date manually from the calendar. It can be taken from the project's current date or it can be a planned start. You can also specify either remaining duration or person complete. Let's click OK. And you can see that same status in the general properties field. But this was just a small regression from the main topic. Now, if we suppose that our pile caps activity has been postponed, for example, let's select the pile activity and let's strike the bar to the right. Yes. Then we need to reschedule our project. Click over reschedule. I guess this color scheme is not that good. You see that the reference schedule shifted on the right. So just uh, let's imagine that we have a delay in file caps installation. Now let's visualize how this delay would affect our project execution. For that, let's open another 3D view. Click over the house on the quick access. I Selecting a 
holding the left mouse, drag it down and locate it besides our 3D view. Make a right click over it, choose dates to use, and baseline dates. To link two views, click over one of them, go to the camera, and choose link with 3D using date. Select a good perspective to see the changes in the project execution. Let's turn off the view cube. Right click, visual indicators, access indicator on the both screens. Let's go to the start of the project and play the animation. Now we can see the difference in construction sequence in case of files will be built later than it was planned. And lastly, let's talk about the VBS layout. If your company has a standard in regards to the coloring of the VBS, we can adjust it by clicking the VBS layout and create a new layout and specify a custom colors for our VBS. Just select the layout and click on apply. From grouping you can change the representation of your VBS. Select making it custom. You can specify codes. We'll talk about codes more precisely later. You can also take advantage of using well-known tool finding and replacing. For example, we would like to find all millimeter and add a gap between them. We'll type millimeter and untick the box match the whole world and replace it. You can see that uh, we managed to create a gap between these two. Find tasks and selection. So you can select all tasks, the child tasks, or invert selection. And filters, which will be discussed in the following lecture.